Hello again everybody, so in today's video what we are going to go over is the fitment of these Jazz Rider Universal Joints for the Hot Bodies Lightning Stadium 10 or the HPI Bullet. Now these were built for the HPI Bullet as per their website, however they will fit the Hot Bodies Lightning Stadium 10 because they're essentially the same car. So benefits of a Universal Joint. With the HPI Bullets and the Hot Bodies Lightning Stadium 10 they are renowned for the drive shafts of popping out under high, under like high cornerage, um, which obviously isn't good because it will mangle up everything in the front end. Um, they're a bit smoother operational. Um, they allow a bit more drive. They don't have the usual wear and tear in the cups like what they have in here. Overall, they're better than what was than what's there originally. So I'll put a link to these on their website down in the description below and yeah so we'll get on to fitment now so upon initial inspection they're free moving they're good quality well they appear to be good quality anyway there's no pitting there's no damage Pretty decent. Along with the kit, you also get two wheel pins, if I can grab hold of them, and two new wheel nuts. I'm not going to be using these because I prefer the ones where they've got the flange on the bottom. Um, these have a habit of actually digging into the plastic and over tight if you over tighten them, and then you can't get them out again very easily. So, as far as I'm concerned, in the spares box. So let's go on with the video. First of all, take the wheels off. I'll be showing you the front, doing the front end and the back end, only on one side, because obviously you only need to see one side. Now you take the wheel nut off, take the wheel off, put the wheel to one side as well as the wheel nut if you're keeping it. Take the old pin out, these are very heavily worn. So for me, I have these little brass collars here as a spacer. Um, with the HPI bullet, you do have proper disc spacers that fit over the uh, bearing in there. I lost them, so I'm not gonna, I haven't bothered to use them, you know. Next thing you want to do, wrong one, is undo the screw here. Now, as I've said in many of my, in many of my other videos, the original ones would be Phillips. Um, for me, I've gone for a hex head or an allen key fitment or screw. Just undo that, that takes off the tie rod. Next you're going to want to undo this one here, which is the main hinge pin or king pin for the front steering. And then you're going to want to undo the one underneath. I would show you, but it's underneath. So that then releases this. Take it off of the steering tie rod, and there's the front steering assembly. All we have to do is just pull the drive shaft out from there and into the spares box, you know, just in case. Take it out, and as you well, you might not be able to see it, it's very worn, but we'll keep it spares anyway. So, with the bearings, if you are replacing at the same time, bearing pull at all comes in very handy, you just squeeze it in and it'll come out like so. And then you just have to pull it off the bearing tool which can sometimes be a pain in the ass. Like so. And that just pulls the bearing out quite nicely. But obviously, ah, I've got to put spacer in. But I'm keeping mine, my bearings in there, I'm, I'm not replacing them because they were brand new, not one back. If they decide to stay in place, that is. So, once they're in, you can just put the new universal joint in, and then slot it in through the C-hub, and then into the cup on the diff. 
at which point you can then start screwing the main king pins in for this for the steering hub and then screw them in like so now I've said it in many of my other videos it's become a bit of a broken record really isn't it when you screw in a metal metal screw into a metal thread it's wise to use Loctite as I found out during the last bashing session where one of the screws fell out which wasn't too good because I forgot to blue Loctite that one but just for the purposes of this video I'm not going to blue Loctite it in because I've got to go over and do a few other bits on the vehicle vehicle? car? truck? whatever you want to call it um, so I'll just blue lock tight it in at that point once I've finished because if you haven't already noticed it's a bit dirty so I need to strip it down and give it a damn good clean the thing to remember with these kingpins is don't over tighten them because if you over tighten them it limits the movement that you've got but I can now pull that in and out if I it doesn't fall out anymore. Yay! So put the steering tie rod back on, like so. Put the spacer in if you have one. Put the pin in. Try not to let the pin fall out like what I've done several times. And then just put the wheel back on. What I like to do is turn the wheel just to make sure that I've got got the wheel over the pin correctly and just put the wheel nut back on if you are using nylock wheel nuts it is recommended to use a brand new nylock nut every time you take the wheels off for the purposes of this video I'm just reusing the original one and there you have it so now for the rears almost identical to the front only you don't have to worry about all of the steering you just undo yeah that isn't a flange nut i'll put one on in the end take the wheel off take the pin out spacer off undo the screw here And then you can just take the shaft out, throw it in the spares box, and like mine, take that out. It's quite simple. As you can see, or well, you might be able to see, it's very mashed up. So it's probably not going to be any use to anybody, but you know, keep it in the spares box. So you just put the new universal joint in. Line it up in the in the cup on the diff. Put the screw back in the top here, and I apologise for any growling you hear. My cat is not very happy this evening. The joys of pets. But you just screw that back in like so. Do 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 do. do. Put the spacer on, put the pin in, put the wheel on. Yep, yeah, that's all good and dandy. Put the wheel nut back on. And there you have it. Universal joints fitted to the Hot Bodies Lightning Stadium 10. I have already done the other side, but all you need to do is just repeat it on the other side of the car. So yeah, they're now fitted and hopefully will make my driving sessions a little bit better when I next take it out. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of the above. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.